Hey guys, so this is going to be the first part of the video. I'm going to show you the part number for this, how to hook all this up to the computer, and then I'll be doing a screen recording of my PC here. So you're going to need the programming cradle, which the part number for this is going to be RLN6527A Romeo Lima November 6527 Alpha. You can get this from Motorola's website. Or anywhere online, really. It doesn't have to be Motorola. Uh, the vendor it doesn't have to be Motorola, but it does have to be a Motorola. Great. It looks just like the charger. Get the part number right there as well. Of course, they took out the battery part, and pins are a little different. Takes a mini USB. Cable. Plug that in as well. That's fine. Like that. You're gonna take a pager. You can leave it on, or you gotta turn it off. Either way, it will work. So when you turn it off, it will turn itself on. Take it out, obviously. Or you can turn it on this way. Now, in this case, if you leave it on, it will not do the startup. Next, obviously, you're going to need your programming software. I'll leave a link in my description. And now we're going to go to the screen recording. So, we're going to be starting the programming software. So, I'm going to here. I'm going to click on read code flow. It's going to read it. You hear a confirmation chirp. Here's where you get all your basic info. Next we're going to go to model options. Stored voice duration. This basically means up to how many seconds do you want each message to hold. So if I chose 30 seconds it would pick 30 seconds. So one message could be 30 seconds each. So I can have a couple messages that have exactly 30 seconds, or I could have one message with 30 seconds, one message with 15, but it won't record anything past that 30 seconds. Uh, I choose 60 just in case something goes slightly over that 30 seconds, but nothing really ever goes uh, up to 60. An announcement type will be male or female you can choose. If you want to have function switch announcements, which it's when you switch from A, B, or C, uh, you can click that. Or if you don't want to hear it, unless you press re the reset button on the side to hear, hey, was I right? Was it on this channel? Uh, you can set that to reset only or have it on and also on reset. So that way, when you change it from A to B or uh, B to C. You'll hear it when you change channels, but you can also press reset in case you didn't hear what I said at first. Radio battery level announcement. When you press the reset button, it'll tell you what your battery level is at. Fixed volume page alert. That means no matter what volume your page is at, this will always have you alert. Have it alert at the callous volume possible. You can turn this off if you just want to use your volume control knob as a way to determine how loud you want your page to be. Keep in mind, if you have this on, the alert itself will be loud as it can be at max volume. But the dispatch voice, when the dispatcher talks, will be at whatever you set your volume knob to. Page alert duration. Uh, this is if 
you have a shorter tone, but you want to have that alert be longer than what it than what it is. Or if you want to be able to chop off the few seconds of the B tone. Normally you set that to standard. But let's say your B tone is two seconds long. You can set that to to 1.92 seconds. So for the rest of that two seconds, all you hear is the B tone, followed by your dispatch. But most set to standard. Unread message reminder, that means when you have an unread call from the pager, it will beep every so often to let you know, hey, you had a call and you have yet to read it. Uh, I set that to off, but you can turn that on if you would like. Priority turn alert, that means when you're scanning with a uh, we know on priority scan, you'll be able to hear that beep when someone uh, keys up on the primary channel, uh, whatever you may set that to. Privacy uh, doesn't really affect much of anyone, so you can leave that to off. Always on means even if you turn your pager all the way off, it will still be on. So you can have always on set along with box, uh, fixed volume page alert. So that way, if you want to make sure that your guys are always going to be alerted, you can have it set to fixed volume page and always on. So that way they can't say, hey, we never got the page or I didn't hear it. You have those two set to that. Next is function switches. I'll go over uh, what each one does. Selective, vog, uh, selective call is when you want only your station to be heard. So you only want it to alert to your station. You don't want to hear any other calls. So right now in this configuration, in switch A, I won't hear any calls until my pager alerts my station and then I'll hear the dispatch. Aside from that, function switch B is a little different so it still will only alert to my station. I won't hear any other calls but since it's at vibrate and push to listen it will store the message for me and it'll alert me by vibrating but it won't send the dispatch through so I won't open the speaker. And this is for if you're in a business setting or if you don't want it to alert really loudly you can do it that way. Monitor frequency one that's when you will hear every uh, tone set you'll hear every uh, page for that channel. So for mode C monitor frequency 1, I will be able to hear every dispatch in my county. It will still alert to your station, but you will also hear all the other pagers. That pages, not pagers. And then we're going to go to probability scan. This is when it scans two different channels but there's no priority channels set up so I can have monitor my dispatch channel and my response channel but neither one is set as a priority priority scan is exactly that it'll scan both like probability scan but this dispatch channel frequency one will take over if someone starts talking on this channel. Silent scan is same as probability. Uh, it's just a little different in the sense it's more of a 
Well, sorry, like, it, it's scanning. Sort of like, uh, selective call. And disable just means you don't want to use this switch, function switch. So, if I want to use A through E, I can put F, G, and H. Uh, to disable them. Alert type, you can choose if you want it to just beep or beep and vibrate. If you have a channel that you don't have tones on, you can just set it to tone or uh, really anything. It won't matter. Announcement type, uh, the standard is this. Selective call, frequency one, tone and vibrate. Hopefully you're able to hear that. If not, I'll put a file in here. Enhanced is a little different. It'll give you a little more detail. And custom switch A is that custom uh, channel announcement that everyone has been talking about. You can load that up uh, pretty soon. So I'll show you how to do that in the next video. This is for the basics. So uh, you can keep this to standard if you wish. But if you want to know what your Set that is set that as you can put to enhanced channel one. So these are going to be your channels and what you're going to set them to uh, for tone. So this is my channel here, one five five point five fifty. My tone here, six seven two point zero and eleven eighty point zero. At least for this demonstration. For reset function, you can select select to revert N, which means it will revert back to what function it was on. So, if I have selective call frequency one, it will revert back from it will revert back to alerting to only my station after about 9.5 seconds after the tones have been dropped. Otherwise, the pager will stay open. So, it will act as a monitor until it's reset. Manual, you'll have to manually press the button to reset it. Delayed is about the same. Uh, most would... Uh, I would say just keep to revert N. Tone system, you have Motorola GE, Plectron, Fast Plectron. I would say select to user unless you know the Motorola tone tables. So I'll show you in a second here. So if you know your groups and your numbers, then you can definitely choose from the list choose from this list. Otherwise, I would say, otherwise, you can stay on user. You can select what tones you would like. You can select what alert it is. So standard is your standard beep. Continuous is one long beep. Various music alerts and uh, custom alerts. You can have your own custom Audio, uh, vibrate. This means it'll pulse, so it'll be on, off, on, off. Uh, standard is just one long uh, vibrate for as long as the alert durations. So, um, you have group call. So if you have one long tone, you can set that here. So two, four, six, eight, one, two. And it'll, it could be continuous, which is the standard, or you can have it set to any of the music tones here. You can also set this to a pulsed. So, since this is usually, since this is a single tone going out, and this is a single alert tone 
when it get when you get paged out. You can set this to pulsed so that way you can remember hey that's my station being loaded. Once you're done with all that, you're going to click on write code plug. It's gonna to write to the pager. You'll hear that confirmation chirp and go go through the startup tone. Uh, well, startup sound. Mine's on vibrate right now, so that's why you can't hear it, but other than that, uh, that covers the basics of this. Have a good day.